if y'all got some other things y'all want to discuss, feel free. It's Friday Night Live. No top is off limit. But I have to discuss this story real quick. Oh, yeah. Y'all niggas stole all the meat. Uh, I don't want none of that. that shit, bro? Did you see that shit? Y'all niggas, hey, I need that plug, man. And I'm hey, down in you, Texas, man. But y'all need that plug. That's why the meat so damn expensive now. Hold on. Let me, let me play this shit for you. This is some local shit. But, that was a fuck, man. That's some house of poetry. No, that was a, a not, nonsense. That was a multi state. <laughs> well, I know, but I'm saying it happened here too. Some of the people involved in the crime is. Man, I want some of that house of poetry meat, man. Hold on. Oh. Let, me, let me play. I'm going to hit mute. Hit mute, everybody. Okay. Hold on. Investigators say thieves stole about $9 million worth of beef and pork from packing plants. Now, three people are in custody. Homeland Security tracks semi-trailer thefts in Nebraska, Iowa, and four other states. The Lancaster County Sheriff called the operation brazen. The cost of that stolen meat has to get, be made up by the producers. And so that just jacks up the price of other meat that they sell. And it's good to get an enterprise of this magnitude stopped. All three suspects are from Florida. Law enforcement recovered three trailers. That's how good that house of poetry and Phil's food way and chills meat is. And I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, because they came all the way from Florida to come and steal that good old house of poetry uh, chicken feet meat and that rat soup. <laughs> yeah. They needed some of them old rat, them rat wings for that not old rat, rat soup. soup, bro. Yeah, not the rat, rat soup. soup. Yeah, they gotta have that old rat, that rat knuckle soup. Yeah. Hey. You hear about that though, sis? Low, like, oh, hey. um, where's the beef? Where's the beef? That's where That's it went. All that. They hit the Dakotas, where? the Nebraska. Oh, yeah. that? That's how you do it. Man, uh, it was like five states. Three people. But what the fuck? Like, how do you sell underground meat? Like, how how does this work? Because it gotta Dude, be. This is how it works. Now. I'm gonna tell you a little real true story. There's an old man. They from down here, right, in Texas. Now he had. I think he had. Let's see. I know he got some daughters, but I believe he had five sons. Mm-hmm. Come to find out. I think they up in Washington, Oregon now, but they are the second biggest producer, like ranch, you know, ranches in the country. Okay, make a long story short, he sent all of his children to the top agriculture universities. Texas AM being one, University of Nebraska, I think it's Kearney with the with the agriculture being another. Uh, the other one was uh, Iowa State, no, Kansas State, I think. Another one was Minnesota, and I think the other one was, I think, Iowa State or somewhere. But basically, those are top agriculture producing schools. And when you got one child that's a geneticist, the other one is a producer, the other one is a manufacturer, the other one is the biz, got the master and doctorate in business. You basically can, in that kind of industry, when you got them kind of plugs and somebody's still in that kind of amount of meat, that could be for insurance purposes as well. You see what I'm saying? When you got, when you got, when you got, because see, you got to understand that. that. See, down here, you got to understand. It, like, if you get caught taking somebody's cow or, or livestock, that starts off the fine is $10,000 a head. So imagine if they was getting fined on over $9 million worth of doggone lost product of meat at $10,000 a head down here in Texas. You know how big that fine would be? We're talking about tens of millions. And it's going to get paid or you'll never see daylight again. Well, you'll never see the concrete streets again. Yeah, it goes down like that, man. Agriculture is a big... Everything is about to be a trillion dollar business eventually. But agriculture is that you, you got to think says who who he who controls the 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 the, uh, the, 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 the he who controls the uh, the oil controls the people he controls the world but he who controls the uh, 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 the 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 people controls the land so if you got control of the people I'll tell you what you can and can't eat 
Well, I'm gonna give y'all this. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all this select meat while I eat this prime USDA. And this prime USDA is a still second choice because I'm getting fresh cut off. I'm talking about the 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 the, the cow and the lamb and the sheep and the, and the and the goose and the dog and the goat. They ain't they heart just stopped beating about five point five milliseconds ago. I get the fresh. Rigor mortis can't even sit in on that meat. That's what they get. When you want to talk about fine and pure cuts. Yeah, I want me a meat bundle like Mario said in the chat. Hey, on the strip, I mean, you got to think, man. That's that's a, so imagine how many decades and centuries that should been going on longer than we all been living. That's just how they manipulate and play the rules. I mean, you know why? Because hey, they created it, they made it, so they can manipulate the rules. And so for somebody to get away with that many meat bundles, that was an inside job as well because you were you were taking trailers. You just can't just pull up to a motherfucking damn reefer trailer, a fifty three foot trailer 45 foot meat trailer locker probably monitoring everything nine million nine million frozen, dollars worth of dog frozen beef nine million dollars in a matter in a matter of a short term period mm -hmm. you just pulled up on some shit with your bol that means that you had your delivery dockets and everything and just whoop, whoop, hook right on up hook them in line up and just dip. they didn't have just, no guns they didn't have no, no nothing they Man. You know how many motherfuckers, man? Do you know how many people that we can feed with nine million dollars worth of meat? Well, I need about fifty million deep freezers. <laughs> no, I'm just saying though. You know how many? You know what kind of warehouse it would? I would, man. I wouldn't yeah. say nothing to nobody. You got you 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 do you uh you muted yourself. You muted yourself, sir. My bad. I would take a whole city of motherfucking. Uh, warehouses for nine oh, million dollars. Nine million. That's a lot of meat. Um, that's a lot of meat. And most of it was beef. That's why it cost that's, that much. There ain't no pork gonna cost that much. We talking about steaks. We talking about. You talking uh, about cow? You talking about whole cows, oh, half cows, quarter like cows, and everything. Oh my roast, god. Roast, chuck roast, everything. Loins, everything. broilers, London broils. Briskets, Everything. I mean, you name it. Top sirloin, chuck, yes. a barbacoa. They, 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 you know, down here, that's deep. Give me the head of the cow. They, they cook it all. Yeah, they in cook that it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, yeah, they pluck them eyeballs out because that's delicacy. Because them, them, the eyeballs and all that stuff and tongue is bought out before they, everything is even prepared. That's yeah. a delicacy down here. Yeah, real shit. They pay big. I mean. You can be, you can be like, oh, I'm about to get a, a, a foreclosure on my home. But you got you a couple of steers, some good, healthy two or three steers, man, with some good old heads on them and some, and and, your and, home and some is meat. Saved. <laughs> oh, your home is saved because they're gonna get you cash. Oh, you, 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 you accept cash, my friend? Or hey, 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 amigo, hey, amigo, I got mucho dinero. Oh, mucho dinero. What you want to talk about? Oh, 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 for that cow head, uh, how much you need? I tell you what, my hey, friend, I, I, I do. I'll give you 5,000 cash right now. I'll give you 50. I'll give you, I'll give you 50, 50 Ben Franks. I don't know though. If it, it just seems like it's so much for, I mean, yeah, insurance, I'm sure they get paid and stuff, but this sound like some underground shit. Like, yeah, like some people sweet. who probably had nothing to do with. You know what I'm saying? Like some people who are naturally just hustlers. And they hustling this motherfucking meat, and they gonna say, oh, "Come on, bro. Okay, That's we all know from five. the hood. We done That's all know somebody five. from the hood that done stole some meat. Okay, oh. stole some meat from work, or they done stole it somehow, and they in the hood. <laughs> somebody, I got a box of yeah. this. I got a box of that. I got. I, That's I four. Know. That's four point five on the black market. If everything was to just be sold outright without no heat, yeah. and you want to keep, you just want to get rid of it right now. 4.5 up front between that many states. Okay, if you had about six to seven states involved, or at least about four to five, six, seven states involved, uh -huh. there was a lot of people involved. So that 4.5 is like, okay, yeah. we can we we'll be okay. But how about let's get all the way right instead of that 4.5, man. Let's try to get this nine and make that nine turn into 15 to 18. Uh -huh. And then we can all get double. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
because that meat is not gonna spoil. Because guess what? It's and fresh. I'm gonna stop by my house first. I'm like, baby, um, buy like three, four deep freezers real quick. Yeah, they about two hundred dollars each. No, nah, you got um, to buy more than that, sir. We about to have about twenty thousand dollars worth of meat. You you would have to get a meat locker. I mean, a nice no, size no, I'm saying, meat locker. I'm just saying the portion that we would keep that we wouldn't sell. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I want a trailer. I, I'm going to be greedy. Like, I want you know, just give me, you know, I'm just like fill, fill up the whole motherfucking But you got to think, them other two trailers, we got to get rid of Sneaky at the, in the middle of the daytime or night because everybody's looking for them. The state troopers, everybody. So you got to think. I had yeah. to get rid of the damn trailer with the meat in it with the reaper. So I got I, I to gotta figure this out. And that's why I'll be like, I'll be at shop, not shop, co. I'll be at Walmart. I'll be somewhere buying me some beef freezers. Yeah. I'm going That'll be that's generational me. If you you deep freeze no, you you I, I guarantee you this. If there was a pandemic that was the last for about two or three years, you would never have to worry about cooking. It's great. Beyond it straight, you can feed a whole village. You can so feed the whole outside, neighborhood. Even if the electricity was off, we'd be out. I've been to start me a damn fire. The churches. That's what we were trying to figure out. You talking about how to move that meat? The churches. Oh, they ain't gonna say shit. What they? What, man, what them niggas gonna say? They're gonna put some of that meat besides them topping some of it off the cuts off before they sell. They're gonna put that meat up in the uh they they're gonna be giving that meat out in the uh in the pantry. In the services in the pantry. In the services in the pantry. So that meat will get the show. So by the time they've been figured out, the church gonna be like, well, we didn't know. We just know it was some good Samaritans that was really they was an anonymous donation. They're gonna be looking at you like, man, now I know you just didn't get it. And even up. if I heard about it on the news, <laughs> I'd be like, um, well shit, by the time y'all get it back, it might not even be any good. So we might Y'all ain't getting it back. It's an insurance write off. The the loss the, the underwriters had all the minute that the insurance company got the contact about the shit has been as a loss, they were already cutting checks to the owners and the mm-hmm. producers and manufacturers of that meat already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the law enforcement motherfuckers that want to get they cut because they supposed to get paid in the meat manufacturer. Well, shit, they just told us who stole. They just said the meat was stolen. Mm-hmm. We got to recover that meat so we can get our commission. Well, you asked out. Somebody told. Yeah. yeah. We give y'all niggas $100,000 if you tell them who gave who stole all that meat. I, Man, just want, I just want a couple of bundles. I just want nah, my name. They before. told the mastermind <laughs> name, where he live at, his mama name, what city he from, what state he's doing there right now. They told, they told, they told, they told, they told what time that nigga got baptized in what year. They that's what they said. Yeah, he was bad. Matter of fact, he was just rebaptized, made his revives last week. In a church out in Vegas. Yep, showed it, man. You mean tell he got a Vegas baptism? He showed it, man. Oh, Matter of fact, he was with his wife and had his mistress out in Vegas, but he had his girlfriend meet him out there from LA. So yeah, it's crazy, man. We I got it. Matter of fact, we just smoked some weed. I got the weed man number right now. What you we can call it? I want some good old roast. I'm just tasting some roast right now for yeah. Sunday dinner with some potatoes. I'll start a farm actually. Where that would be it? another good one too. Ooh, child, a good old roast in the crock pot. And Omaha days will be lit. Everybody gonna be fat. Uh, everybody gonna be gassing. 